up ladies and gentlemen welcome to the first episode of driver motorsports where we import the finest and i mean the finest jdm vehicles my name's tevin so let me start by introducing you to the crew chris driver Yo, <laughs> the, okay. the owner the operator the master man with the plan here we go <laughs> all right, all right. sounds good man you've met tevin I guess. He's oh yeah. The, the man behind the magic. This is Driver Motors. We're at 10611 Wards Road, Rustburg, Virginia. Just south of Lynchburg, Virginia. It's uh the middle of nowhere pretty much. But yeah. We like it this way. Yeah. So here at Driver Motorsports, what we do is we import premium JDM cars straight from Japan, some from Australia. We bring them into the States, we thoroughly go through them. We detail them and then we sell them here in the States. We have this Gloria for sale out here. Someone just Beautiful. Came by, test drove it. Uh, Gloria for sale, VIP. <laughs> They're not Take for sale. Right here. They're not for sale. Yeah, these things go quick. We took a deposit. Oh, well. So we took a deposit. There you go, guys. Not for Sorry. sale. Beautiful though, beautiful. Yeah, this one's really nice. It has some coilovers and the R33 GTR wheels. Really nice example. Stock and clean. Yeah, very nice interior. Seats are in really good shape. Has a little dash bubble here, but that's really common on mm -hmm. these. Showroom, we got some display cases. No, we do not sell parts. <laughs> don't sell parts. We Everyone don't. Everyone asks, do we sell parts, but we don't. If you buy a car from us and you need something, we can help source it, or if we have it in stock, you know, we'll send it to you and you know help you out basically. So All right. we got some goodies in here too. I gotta show off some stuff. Some goodies. We got some R34 GTR seats right here in pristine condition. Oh yeah. These are beautiful. Um, these are gonna go in my R33. GTR <laughs> build for the track, track and street and show. So, got those. We got some wheels. These are going on there as well. Some nice gloss black LMGT4s. Some of the nicest wheels ever made. We have Sparco wheels right here, 10 and a half inch wide, 18 inch. And these are the best ones in the showroom, in my opinion. But hey, you like those? The, ones, these. These wheels right here are freaking awesome. Like you don't understand. Like this video doesn't do it justice. You have to see this in person. These wheels are freaking beautiful. They're nice and they're super lightweight too. Super light. White Regan Masters. I think we're gonna redo those in black. Some LMGT ones. Very rare. Some other wheels we got these. We're gonna go on a white GTR that is it's at paint right now, but it's a top mount twin turbo. We're hoping to make over 600 horsepower with it. We believe it should, no problem. The engine's actually a part in here. We'll go check that out in a little bit. Over here we got our gear. And here we got, you know, t-shirts, hats, hoodies, quarter zips like this right here. These are nice, I like these. I think they look a little more professional than yeah, a hoodie. Yeah, they do. Yeah, <laughs> We have two different styles right now. We're gonna come out with more. And if you guys didn't know, everything is premium. So the quality of these hoodies are amazing. It so is. They're super soft, so. It is really good. And the, the shirts are really good. I mean, these are sport tech. Check them out. They're on our website under gear. And we're gonna do some more designs. We're gonna have RX-7 and Supra, of course. Because those are our four main things. Supra, GTR, RX-7, really those are three mains and then Sylvia's and 180's, you know, S chassis, basically. Up here, we just got some cool Japanese stuff as far as like magazines and stuff. So if you come in, you can hang out. Squash air fresheners. Squash. Japanese little candies and snacks. And that's gonna be my car right there. That's a <laughs> white R33 GTR. We just got some other stuff on now. There's a intercooler, ready, nice. ACT clutch. That's gonna go in the uh, Project Drift car, the Sylvia. We got a dress up bolts display, which really cool. I'm part owner in that company and they sell titanium 
nuts and bolts and you know hardware fasteners whatever you want to call it it's really high quality stuff so check it out it comes in all different colors and it's really good especially if you got like a show car you want to take it to the next level that's what you want down in here they're actually ads i believe but shout out for fortune auto they make uh, really nice stuff um, i'm friends with the owner terry what's up and uh like I said, it's just a superior product, basically, and we like it. We like our JDM stuff. Oh yeah. But if we gotta buy coilovers, we're gonna, you know, go with Fortune. Office. Fortune all the They're way. Really good. In here we got my office. No big deal. Cover my steering wheels. I, I don't know. I love steering wheels and wheels. Got an ARC intake box for R32. I'm working on getting the filters. I found them. I just gotta get them here. So, engine room slash kitchen so if you're hungry you know you want something to eat snack on yeah drink we got it you turn around and start building your motor right there <laughs> exactly <laughs> right you there you have to leave you have to leave you, know? you can just hang here all night this, I, you know, that's why i do it <laughs> the guys don't have to leave for lunch <laughs> but um got this engine torn down it's an rb26 out of uh the gtr that's actually at paint right now it's completely stripped down uh, Josh took some pictures of it stripped, so maybe we'll flash some of those up. Got some other stuff in here, just some other engines. Got another RB26. We got RB20 over here, just spare. SR20 right here. It's got pistons, fresh rebuild. I was going to put that in the drift car. I was going to put that in the Sylvia, but Josh talked me into buying this uh, 2J off of him, mm -hmm. so we're going to go 2J. Mm. We're gonna go 2J with a CD009. 4G63 over here, that's Josh's, it's built. We got a 1UZ back here, that's Josh's. And here we got stock room. And it's just, uh, you know, all our stuff. We got some nice red line. We keep this stocked up so we're ready to go. We don't have to worry about getting parts delivered because we already have them. Oh, where's Ed? Hey. Get a whole Ed. Say hello. This hello. is Ed. I'm Ed. <laughs> General manager. Working on the single turbo. Whoa, look at that turbo. Ooh. Yeah, boy. Yeah, we're gonna polish that. The Gretty kit, single turbo. That's a T88. Um, this is the Gretty manifold and everything. Oh, it's got HKS pistons. Um, we have to have, we're gonna have Jason Kowalski come by and check the stroke and see if it's a 2.8 stroker or not. We're taking it all apart. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much taking everything out of the bay that's possible and we're gonna repaint it. Um, as you can see, it's been stitch welded, kind of, by someone at some point. Not the best job, so we're going to try to clean that up and get it up to driver motorsport standards. UV intake blue and match the blue for the covers and, uh, you know, just make it look good. This is a beautiful GTR. The base side blue. Hey, don't get very many of those. No. We have maybe SLMs on it, too. Oh, yeah. It's, it's not a factory color. No. It's not a factory color, but this was uh, R34 factory color, and everybody loves it. And this paint job actually looks really nice. They, they probably took all the glass out to get this because there's no tape lines or anything like that. It looks like a real quality job. Yeah, the chains are even done, like nice and two. Yeah. Um, we're trying to source some rotors for it. The rotors are a little beat. So, any luck with that, Ed? I have to check in there. Okay, hopefully we got something yep. back from, uh, what, Freddy USA? Oh, Alcon USA. Alcon USA? Yep. Okay. This is Ed's box. Nice snap on. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to Ed's box. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the nicest box in here. It is. Instead of going to college, I spent all my money on the snap. -on. Yeah, got the sub up Wise here. Choice. So we can rock Wise out. Choice. This is Ed's workstation, basically back here, so he can be back here amongst all the action. Ed basically will order up all the parts and everything and make sure that things are just running smooth back here. So, and we just love his sparkling personality as well. <laughs> Where's Josh? Josh is. Josh, is he? He's around. <laughs> He's around. I thought he was tucked away in here somewhere, but nah, I guess not. No. Well, oh, there he goes. He's in there. He's in there. Okay, so this is 
the company thrift store. This is the Sylvia. Uh, it's like an 89. It's one of the first ones. Um, it actually came with a CA-18 in it. Um, I blew the turbo on the first drift event and the engine came out, got sold. I was going to put the SR in there and then it was winter time so we were like, hey, let's put a cage in it and it's been a while. Okay, so, but we're back working on it and put a full cage in. Go pass any tech for any drift class is the way we made it. So, oh wait, here's Josh. Let's go see John. Oh, Josh, what you doing? What you doing? So this is our tubing bender. Um, it's really nice quality too. Just came recommended by another shop that guys run that I'm friends with, uh, Mayhem Motorsports down in uh, Raleigh. Uh, they do mostly LS stuff. So if you've got LS powered something, you want to get it tuned, check out uh, Jay and Jeff at Mayhem Motorsports. They're pretty cool guys. That's it. Right? I mean, this is like good yeah, it's quality. one of the better quality ones. So I like it because it ratchets in there and it doesn't uh, release the tension on the bar. So when you're working it, you can keep it in its spot and just move it back and forth instead of undoing the whole thing and bringing it back. Then you lose track of where the bend is and it puts too many bends in it. So it's nice. So maybe, you know, calling out for JD Squared, we can get a discount on some dies when we buy them. This is my box. You see, like the smallest one in the shop. Huh? Whatever. It is what it is. Yeah. Josh is basically our lead tech, fabricator, and tuner, engine builder. What am I leaving out, Josh? Extraordinaire. 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 <laughs> Josh would do anything. He's been doing this since he was, I don't know, what, 14? Yeah. Been in the cars and everything building cars, racing cars, doing whatever with cars. So, all right, let's go over here. Let's meet. Let's go meet CJ. good old CJ. 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 Yeah, put your pants up, bro. Pants. <laughs> 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 all right, so we just got this GTR in and CJ is looking it over. He's the technician here. And basically do a compression count. It's really stock, right? Like this car is awesome. It's got stock strut still. Um, all the suspension's good. Just did an oil change. I got the battery on charge. Plugs are changed. Did a compression test. Um, we pretty much go through these cars all the way. All the way down. The biggest thing is when we buy the car, we make sure it's not rusty. And that's the number one thing. Number two thing is, especially on these, the RB26 and everything, we make sure it has good oil pressure. And then window seals are very important. These right here, this actually needs to be replaced. So basically in here we just got like a little workshop for Josh. Um, we got our saw for cutting the tubing and everything. The notcher set up for doing the fish mounts and everything on the ends of the tubing. Like I said, we're building another building and we're going to set it up and get some you know, better equipment as far as like a brake. Just some nicer industrial, you know, heavy duty equipment so Josh can get that stuff done. We're about to show you the top secret area here. Classified, but we're gonna show you this today. It's behind the scenes, behind the scenes. As you see right here, private. Basically this is where we have a lot of storage for our parts. People are coming up here with their pulling parts off the shelf. Just call these hole fillers because <laughs> the cars will come in with nothing there and it just looks ugly. So we're not, uh, you know, hi-fi uh, stereo people. So we basically just put this in there. Maybe it's gonna have an awesome stereo system. If it came like that, it will. If it doesn't have anything, that's not our thing. We don't deal with that. We make sure that the car is, you know, running good. It's mechanically sound. It's gonna pass inspection. Has good tires, brakes, you know, that sort of thing. So this is just storage for right now. But when we build the other building. This is going to be my office. We're going to build some stairs coming from the showroom up here, put in some nice doors right here. But we use this to store some parts up here. we got some body parts. Here's off the blue GTR that's downstairs. Our simulators, and this is where we get our training done for drifting and road racing. It's, it's a lot of fun. 
I mean, yeah. we have a blast on these. So um, we'll have to get some footage of us uh, killing it at the drift track on, on the simulators. And then also we're going to be going to the drift track and killing it in real life. So let me see. Bathroom. That's a bathroom. <laughs> Someone was in there. So that's uh, pretty much driver motorsports. All right, see, they give him a little tech tip on what's right, going on so here. So doing a compression test on an RB, uh, first thing you got to do is unplug your cam sensor, and that cuts the fuel, so you have no fuel going to your cylinders. When you do the compression test, you want to have your throttle all the way open, and that gives you the best numbers and the equal numbers all the way through. You want it to turn over at least eight times, seven or eight times, doesn't really matter. But that gives you even numbers all the way down, as long as you have good cylinders. Josh found a uh, phone in one. A Japanese phone? Yeah, Josh found a flip phone. We got it sitting up in the container. What? I gotta check that out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, make sure you tune in next time, because we're going to take the Supra to the dyno.